What is going on YouTube? Landon Huppin here back with another video and my goodness do I have a banger for you today. So here in front of me I have got my entire vintage motorsports and NASCAR t-shirt collection. I've got 80s and 90s stuff galore. We've got short track series stuff. We've got Sprint Cup Series or Winston Cup Series stuff. We've got Earnhardt Jr. Earnhardt Sr. t-shirts. We've got Sprint Car t-shirts, late model t-shirts, pretty much whatever you can think of. IndyCar, drag racing, all kinds of stuff here. Truck Series, vintage Truck Series, 95 to early 2000s stuff. I've got it here for you and we are going to hop into it. Thank you guys so much for being here. Let's get after it. As you can see, I've got loads of t-shirts here in front of me, probably close to 100 t-shirts. I don't know the estimated value on this stuff. I'll just let you guys decide for yourselves. But if you like this type of video, make sure you drop a like on it. Uh, and uh, let me know in the comments if you would like to see my vintage hat collection or my vintage sweatshirt and long sleeve collection. Also, if you're new to the channel, first of all, thank you guys for being here. This is our very first video of 2022 and I am super excited to create content for you guys uh, moving into this new year. But uh, if you haven't already, make sure you smash that subscribe button. We are on our way to 5,500 subs. If you like short track racing, if you like vintage NASCAR, any of that type of thing, we do it here on this channel, and I appreciate you guys being here. Without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, we're going to hop right into it. I'm going to go ahead and do some of the smaller stuff to start with. We've got, uh, I guess let's go ahead and start with 90s NASCAR. Starting out, this is just some random stuff. There's going to be some bangers in this group. There's also just some random pieces that I've acquired over time over the time like this this is a uh, Pikes Peak shirt which if you guys know is no longer functioning racetrack but just a 1998 Pikes Peak shirt I'm not gonna take too much time on each one of these because I've got a lot and this might be a long video we're gonna dig so starting out with a banger of course we've got the Kyle Petty Coors Light neon dead stock never been washed can't go wrong with that and we've got a Kyle Petty Coors Light, I've worn this one a few times, mid 90s, right here, Silver Bullet Racing, of course, good old Sabco joints, couldn't go wrong with the Kyle Petty merchandise, we've got a Ernie Irvin, 1996, Havoline joint, most of these are my size, I try to only keep shirts that I can wear, some of them are a little too big and some of them are a little too small, but for the most part they're all around my size, random Bush Grand National shirt here, we've got a Jason Keller, Slim Jim, all over print. I haven't worn that shirt very much, actually. Can't go wrong with a good old Del Jarrett all over print. I believe this is 98. Could be wrong, but Roush H. Racing, front and back. Beautiful t-shirt. Love those blue and red colors on that. A couple of uh, my personal favorites here, just because they're a little obscure, but we got a Steve Park Pennzoil tee. And it's part of the official fan club member, Steve Park. Cool t-shirt. We got a Joe Nemechek. Oakwood Holmes number 33. I believe this was Andy Petrie's ride. Very, very cool t-shirt. Don't see many of these very often, so when I seen it, I had to scoop it. I love that shirt. Moving on, we've got a couple of Jeff Burton pieces. We have Jeff Burton X side, mid-90s. And then we've got a newer Jeff Burton. Sit go front and back. I would say most of these shirts are going to be front and back, almost all of them are actually. We've got a 50th anniversary Ricky Craven Budweiser that's only a front now that I say that. Um, I've acquired these from all over the place YouTube or not YouTube. I've got them from eBay, I've got them from my guy Speedway Screens, uh, Brent over at Days Gone By Vintage, and I've I scout Goodwills all the time, so I'm always looking for a really good deal on a vintage shirt. That's kind of how I've acquired these over time, but it's been a it's been a yearly process. I mean, these are I didn't just acquire these in one year. This has been <laughs> this has been a long time coming. Uh, we've got a Sterling Marlin Kodak, just a simple front and back. Again, these are just my random NASCAR 80s and 90s. Uh, no specific driver, just a bunch of random T-shirts. A lot of my favorites in here, but but mostly random. We got a Smoking Joe's with the pocket. Nice Jimmy Spencer on the back there. Love that uh, yellow and purple. 
little Jeff Gordon action. This was the uh, Out of This World t-shirt. Another Gordon absolute banger. We've got the Jurassic Park unit. This one's a little small for me. It's a medium. I would love to trade this for a large if I can find someone that's got a large that I can wear. So if you're watching this and you have a Jurassic Park ride, Jeff Gordon, I'm in the market for a large. Badass t-shirt. All right, we got a Brickyard. This is the inaugural Brickyard, 1994. Front and back, all over print. It's got this purple speckle all over it. One of my favorite shirts. I got this from Speedway Screens on Twitter. You can check him out. He always cuts me a good deal. Has excellent content. A bunch of random cool, cool shirts popping up all the time. Jeff Gordon, Championship 2001. A little bit newer. All over print. Got the trophy on the back. Really, really cool t-shirt. This is a... Still have the tags. I haven't worn this. I see it going for a lot. It's another banger. Rusty Wallace, Miller Lite. Fresh tee. All over print, front and back. This is definitely a $150, $200 t-shirt. Haven't worn it yet, like I said. Trying to keep it fresh. I don't know. Maybe I'll break it out one of these days. And then I've got a Jeff Gordon Superman. Another uh, pretty expensive tee, if you can find it. I believe this is like 98, 99, somewhere around there. Moving on with our random racing stuff, we've got a Jeff Bodine, X-Side, 1994, just a front tee. Got a little Simple Tony Stewart joint, Home Depot, I believe this was late 90s, front and back. A little yellowing to that. Then we got a Ken Schrader, Budweiser, another banger. So the story behind me finding all these all over prints, I actually found a guy who used to have a uh, NASCAR merchandise store in the 90s and he was liquidating everything and he sold me these for like $6 a shirt. So crazy, crazy still on these. I love them to death. These are some of my favorite shirts. They're so loud. The 90s were blaring loud and their merchandise speaks for it. This was another freebie thrown in by my guy Speedway Screens. It's a uh, Ken Schrader truck shirt but the front's really, really faded. The back's still there so I don't know why it faded like that but it was a freebie thrown in from him so very very thankful for that cool shirt still uh, can't complain mike stefanik this was his uh, bush north i believe and his wheel and modified car uh, if you guys don't know mike stefanik passed away in a uh, plane accident plane crash here uh over the last couple of years so very very tragic tragic but this was his 1997 uh dual championship shirt very cool on that. Just a random NASCAR 90s tee here with the purple collar, purple sleeves. And then the good old classic Winston Racing pocket tee with the gold foil from the mid-90s. All right, continuing to move on. Listen, I'm only about halfway through these 90s, so y'all better be uh, dialed in because we've got, we've got a lot. Jimmy Spencer, Yellow Freight. Another one of my like obscure shirts that I found. I think it's really cool. I don't really see these hardly at all. <clears throat> Front and back. 1994 Boot City Bristol 400 t shirt. Speedway Screens got me hooked up on this one. Very cool tee. Couldn't pass it up. Haven't seen many like it. He also hooked me up with this one, which is a early years Craftsman truck, then NASCAR Super Truck series. Only a front print. It's got the uh, cockpit guy wheeling it. Badass 90s vibe there. I love that. A couple more bangers here for you guys. We got Kyle Petty, Mel Yellow, all over print, front and back with the neons. Paint schemes from, from this era were so iconic, man. I mean, not just like the Earnhardts and the Rusty Wallaces and the and the uh, Bill Elliotts and that type, but everything. I mean, all those, all those paint schemes stood out. We've got a Robert Presley signed Jasper 77 car here. I haven't ever wore that one. Obviously it's signed, I don't know if I'd ever wear it. Then this is another banger from Speedway Screens. NASCAR Winston Cup Champion 95, Jeff Gordon. You guys have probably seen this shirt around. I'm sure this was a frequent in the uh, souvenir haulers back in the day. So these are the last of my 90s NASCAR here outside of my Earnhardt Jr. and Senior collection, which we're gonna get to that in this video too. So we got a Phil Parsons, Mayhem Auctions, or Mannheim Auctions, goodness gracious, can't talk. Haven't seen very many of these at all. Got this for a steal, 12 bucks on eBay. Brand new, never worn, never washed. Killer t-shirt, love that. 
you know, Stefan, uh, Phil's son, is a good friend of mine, so it was cool to get that of Phil's. This is an NHRA shirt, Winston Drag Race and 36 Annual. I don't know where the hell it is. It looks like Homestead, Miami. I picked that up for like five bucks. Thought it was really cool. We got an old school Ricky Rudd, Levi Garrett from the late 80s. We got an 80s Tide Rod from Speedway Screens. Badass. Actually, that Ricky Rudd was early 90s, but Daryl Walter. This is a random 2000s that I got for like $15. Actually, this might be 99. No, it's NASCAR 2000. So from 2000, Matt Kenseth. Old school, like, saloon looking western vibe. I don't think it's ever been worn. I've never worn it. It looks pretty much brand new. Here's a random uh, Jeff Pearl modified tee. Fox Hill Racing, number 71, from the 90s. Hopefully this is in focus because I haven't even looked at it. I've just been rolling. We've got a 90s vintage Dover t-shirt, Monster Mile. Dover Downs, just a front print. We have a Kevin Harvick 2001 RCRT. I love this shirt. It's very simple. Right after uh, Big E passed and uh, it's just a cool shirt to have. This is a Michigan... IndyCar shirt from 95. I found this on eBay. I can't remember what I paid for it. Like 12 bucks, 13 bucks. Thought it was cool. Got a bunch of text on the back, but you don't see many of these. Thought it was badass. Decided to cop it. And then we've got an 80s. This thing is a muscle shirt on me, but it is a Ken Schrader Red Baron number 90. Mid 80s tee. So that's going to wrap up my just random NASCAR stuff. I think I'm gonna get into my junior and senior collection now, and then we will go to the dirt side, and then we will hit vintage, short track, Hickory Motor Speedway, Southern North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, that type of thing, and some of my just like short track shirts from 80s and 90s here in a minute. But let's hop into the juniors and senior. All right, starting us out, a bunch of these are gonna be all over prints. Uh, I found them at yard sales, flea markets, Goodwill, eBay, like I said the works uh, but I've always got my eye open and I seem to run into a lot of good deals a lot of times this is a next generation little E from 98 I believe all over print very cool t-shirt I'm gonna lay these over here got a Dale Earnhardt Jr. Uh, I can't remember this is an outlaw t-shirt I think it's what they called it but front and back all over print with the horses on it just a killer t-shirt says young gun on the front such a cool t-shirt they don't make them like this anymore at all this is not Earnhardt Jr. and Senior I guess I accidentally put this in here but we're going to talk about it anyway I've got 2006 Jimmy Johnson all over print Winston Cup champ one of the goats they can't go wrong there old style body another cool t-shirt you know it's barely been worn but not Earnhardt Jr. or Senior we got a big E with the silver foil from RCR. Wear black and silver, 1991 champion t-shirt. Just a front print. I've never worn this, and it's uh, it's never been washed either. We got a uh, one hot silver night shirt. Love this shirt. Um, I like the commemorative races. I think that the the shirts that were made based off of one race are very special, just because. You know, it was one race, so it's, you know, one moment in time, one time that car raced. This car obviously raced one time at Charlotte. Very, very cool t-shirt. The back commemorates the uh, the all-star race that, that night. Then we got a Dell Jr., just all over print from like 04, I think. Obviously, it doesn't have Budweiser on it, it just says Jr., unfortunately. But still a cool all over print shirt. Nice to have in the collection. I've got some bangers and they're not on, these are not on hangers. Bangers, not on hangers. <laughs> but uh, Earnhardt Jr., power of the three AC Delco unit here. Just another uh, cool ass Bush shirt from Junior's time, driving the uh, AC Delco number three for DEI. This one is one of my favorite t shirts that I have, and I really haven't had it in my collection very long, but it is the 700 Horses Dell Senior t shirt. Um, they go for a good, a good pretty penny on uh, eBay right now but this one's in very very good shape that's the front and then of course the back Scott Senior walking behind his uh, stallion 
you know, the good old number three Goodrand Chevy. Really, really cool t-shirt. Glad I have that one in my collection as well. As is this one. This one is right up there with one of my favorite t-shirts. This is the, uh, the Olympics tee right here. Big E Olympics Goodrand shirt. Front and back. In really good shape. Love this shirt, man. I mean, if they made merchandise like this nowadays, I feel I would feel like NASCAR is in a good place. But we obviously don't have these t-shirts anymore. So if that's any indication of where our sport's at, I guess, you know, be the judge of that yourself. And another Earnhardt Jr. Senior Combo tee here. Two faces of the three. We've got the Goodwrench 3 and the AC Delco 3 front and the back. Very cool t-shirt. I actually paid $50 for this one, so I ponied up a little bit more for this one, but I think I would consider it still being worth over $100, just based off of what they sell for on eBay. Um, a couple more that I have here. We've got Earnhardt Sr. This one needs to be washed. Uh, just another three shirt. We got This one is actually for the wife. It's a medium, so it's a little small for me. The Intimidator Tour, 1990. I got all these, so all these Earnhardt shirts that you're seeing right here, I got for $8 from a, uh, a swap meet here close to town. It's got the uh, tour dates on the back. Very cool. And then I have two of these, so I'm only going to show one. But same thing, got one from that swap meet. Winston all over print. So if you're in the market for one of these, I might list one on my eBay. Pocket tee, front and back. Just a killer shirt, man. Gotta love these things. So I got two of those, and then to finish out my Earnhardt collection, I have got this Intimidator Tour 91 to go with the other Intimidator Tour, front and back. And then the six time T, gotta have one of these in the collection. Earnhardt six time champ. All right, so that's gonna do it for the Earnhardt collection. Uh, we're gonna hop into the dirt stuff now, and then we're gonna go over and finish with our 80s and 90s short track racing t-shirts. All right, moving on to dirt. So, I don't have a lot of dirt t-shirts up here, but I do have a few, so this section will be really short. But leading it off, this shirt's a little big for me. It is a 96 Knoxville tee, front and back. I do like these event t-shirts on the dirt side. I don't really collect as many of the drivers on dirt, but I do collect the event tees. So I really enjoy those. I think it's cool to commemorate a date and time, like I said uh, earlier on in the video. But this is gonna be the uh, 38th annual Knoxville Nationals from 98. It's got all the A-Main guys on the back. Very cool. And then we've got a uh, fourth annual, the big one, I believe from Eldora, 1996. I'm not huge on my dirt information, but it's got the uh, checkerboard collar and the checkerboard sleeves, which I think is a killer touch. That speaks heavy 90s, but cool ass t-shirt there. And then I've got Knoxville 94, front and back on that tee. And we've got another big one from 93. This one's got cash money all over it. I love that shit. <laughs> So that's really my dirt collection. Like I said, I've got a lot more stuff, but it's down at the house. This is literally only what's in my apartment. And if I brought anything else up here, my wife would kill me. All right, last but certainly not least, my favorite part of this entire video is the short track 80s and 90s part of my collection. I love this side. Obviously you guys know I'm a short track racer. My dad grew up racing at Hickory Motor Speedway. I've grown up racing there. Um, I'm a big advocate of short track racing in general all over the United States. And uh, these are some of my heroes. Now there is some, you know, Cup Series guys and bigger names mixed into this, but a lot of these guys are gonna be friends of my family. You know, so maybe some names that only you guys in the Southeast are gonna know. I'm excited to share this with you. A lot of my family t-shirts are in this, so let's get into it. All right, the first two are gonna be people you guys should know, obviously. We got a Kyle and Kurt Busch Legends t-shirt from the 90s. You guys probably haven't seen very many of these. I thought this was cool. I found it on Etsy. I paid $25 for it. But uh, yes, Kyle and Kurt Busch before they were Kyle and Kurt Busch. So very, very cool that I was able to find that. And then we've got a Jason Jarrett. This thing is in rough shape, but it is a Jason Jarrett late model stock shirt. I got this from a guy here in Hickory. It's pretty beat up. Front and back is pretty worn out, but still nonetheless, cool to have a Jason Jarrett late model shirt. All right. Now we're getting into some of my dad's shirts. 
these obviously mean more to me than anything else in this floor right now. But uh, I'm gonna go through these pretty quick. Obviously, you guys have learned a lot about my dad on this channel, so this should be pretty cool for you guys as well. But we got a Rob Huffman 1989 T-shirt. This car was ran predominantly at Tri-County with a white, white car. The blue car ran at Hickory. He won a track championship in that car. Then we've got a mid-90s Rob Huffman White House shirt with my all-time favorite Rob Huffman graphic on the back. The Pour on the Juice White House Apple Juice Race, and I love that logo. It's one of my favorite uh, logos from the White House era. Then we've got a uh, early 90s Rob Huffman six tire 37 machine. Uh, those of you that followed my dad would know this, but other than that, you probably wouldn't know. One year, my dad ran a pink Cadillac in late model stock at Hickory, and this was the t-shirt they made. So it is the Montana Steakhouse Rob Huffman pink Cadillac number 39. I mean, it takes a lot of balls to drive a pink Cadillac. You know, I'm just saying. One of the coolest shirts in my collection. Probably one of the more rares, too. All right, here is a replica of, or this is the actual shirt, but my actual t-shirt that's on my website, windshielddeep.shop. If you go to that, you can find all of my personal merchandise. We replicated this shirt, which was my dad's 1990 NASCAR Goodies Dash Series Championship shirt. Um, this is the car from it. it, has duck graphics on the back, but I actually threw back to this car in the 2021 Cars Tour throwback race at Hickory. We made those t-shirts, replicated this shirt. That's from that 1990 season. And then we've got a Rob Huffman, Another white Tri-County car here with six tire on the front. Found that on eBay, I paid $30 for it, but somebody was listening on eBay, so I had to buy it. A couple more of my dad's stuff, and then we're gonna get into a couple of the other local guys, but this is my dad's dash shirt from, I believe, 2000, 2001, somewhere around there. So it's got the American flag name on the front, and then him across the line at Daytona in the back. So Duck Graphics, which is a popular uh, racing, t-shirt manufacturer here in the end graphic designer here in the southeast he used to make these special um t-shirts for his champions and this was from Hickory Motor Speedway birthplace and NASCAR stars from the year 1990 it's got my dad's championship car on there and it's also got Max Presswood who won the Winston Racing Series national championship that year all from Hickory Motor Speedway very cool t-shirt I guarantee you there's not very many people in this world that have that shirt all right, here's some more random duck graphic shirts. A bunch of uh, bunch of local legends here. We've got Andy Houston, the Cool Park Kid, 90s Neon, with the KLB cars on the back. Quick fact, I do drive a KLB race car. That was my old car that we're uh, refurbishing now. It is a 90s KLB car. So Andy Houston, great friend of the family. Um, I love collecting his shirts. I've got another Andy Houston shirt in here that you guys are gonna love. Then we've got another Duck graphic shirt, and I love this from Duck, man. He would put a bunch of his more popular drivers on these t-shirts and uh, sell them as like a team shirt or whatever. It's got Ricky Weeks, Andy Houston, Jay Fogelman, Dennis Setzer, Johnny Pig Reynolds, my dad, Harley Hamby, uh, Tommy Houston, Max Presswood, just names on names on names on this shirt kick-ass shirt they don't make those very often and or they didn't make those very often i think it was like once a year and uh just really cool to have that uh, duck graphics racing tee this was a, a local drag racer uh alan Limberger. it was a duck graphics shirt so i copped it i don't know who alan is but i thought it was cool scott kilby many of you will know this name local racer he was a tech guy at hickory for a little while this is one of his late model stock shirts from duck graphics We've got a Brandon Moore Hooters Pro Cup shirt from Duck Graphics. My dad crew chief that team. Then we've got one of my dad's bigger competitors, Max Presswood. We've got the Farewell Tour shirt from Duck Graphics. It's all of Max's championship cars from late model stock over the years. Kick-ass shirt. And another Max Presswood. This is his Tri-County Championship shirt from 1996. Late model stock. Max Presswood on the back. And a dirt late model. I guess it should have been in my dirt collection, but I had it for uh, because it was a Doug graphic shirt. But 1990, Mike Luna, uh, dirt late model, Doug graphics tee. All right. Last but not least, so the last couple of t-shirts that I have here in my collection, and I know this is ran kind of long video, but I love showing you guys this stuff. So hopefully you've enjoyed it to this point. 
Uh, if you made it this far, drop a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite shirt of this entire collection is once you finish the video. And uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do for you, I guess. Just drop a comment. Let me know which one's your favorite. It'll, uh, it'll warm my heart to see which ones you guys like. So another one of these six tire shirts. This is a six tire racing team shirt, Jamie and Tracy Sigmund. It's got the go-karts, my dad. You know, obviously they're family friends of ours, but a very cool shirt to have. I actually got drunk and was foot racing and fell on this shirt. It used to look pristine, but now it has a hole in it. Uh, shout out to my intoxicated adventures. Jamie Sigmund, limited late model t-shirt from Hickory. My dad's very first ever shirt right here. Little 1983-84 ringer tee with Rob Huffman on the front, Huffman racing on the back. Look at that young Rob right there. What a what an excellent t-shirt design, you know? You can't go wrong with that. This was his, my dad's 1988 championship car from Hickory Motor Speedway, the blue car, like I said. And then this is the Andy Houston shirt I was talking about. We've got the cool part kid, Andy Houston. Fantastic design on the front from Doug, country chair racing. Andy had a really successful career in NASCAR, but he is definitely one of our local heroes here in the Hickory area. This was an old White House shirt before my dad got White House. Actually, it has Robert Huffman on it, which is so weird. I think that's why I kept it. Uh, it's got Robert Huffman on the back, but dad never ran the 41. That was actually Johnny Smith. I think this was right when my dad got the White House deal, and they just printed these shirts up with dad's name on it for like a promotional deal or something. And the final shirt in my collection, t-shirts only, is another six tire racing shirt from Duck Graphics. I believe this was just a team shirt. So that's gonna do it, guys. I've got all of these in front of me. I'll turn the camera around here and we'll finish this video up. All right, I need to count all these, but that's all the t-shirts I have just in my apartment. I've got some more down at the house. These are my main ones. I do try to wear them often, but obviously there's some of these I haven't worn. So that was a lot. If you're still here in the video, I really appreciate you. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that sub button. Like I said earlier, it's free. Drop a like on this video. It's also free. It helps the channel, helps us get into that algorithm. We are on our way to 5,500 subs, and uh, hopefully this is a banger video to start 2022. So thank you guys again. Y'all have an absolute blessed day, and I will see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.